overview of how to sign up for a personal Google Voice. Part of the problem is I already have a personal Google Voice, so I can't show you the entire process, but I can start with this. You're going to want to go to voice.google.com and I'm going to show you how to sign up on the computer. Once you've signed up on the computer, then you can download the app and sign in to whatever account you've used to sign in on the app and on the computer and it will connect the two. They will work together. So you're going to choose a city and there's not a city near me so I'm just going to choose one of these. I'm going to select one and it's going to ask me for my phone number. Which number am I going to be using with this? And so it's going to ask me to verify that. This is as far as I can go in the setup process because I already have a Google Voice number. You're going to walk through this process and then I'm going to show you on the back side once you've done that some of the settings and things that you can go in and just and personalize for you. Okay, now that you've set up your Google Voice number, here are some things that you can do. Over here on the left, it shows you where to get your call log, where to get your text messages or to send a new text message, where to get the voicemails, you, any archived conversations you may have had, and any spam messages that may come in. And even though this is a Google Voice, yes, at times you will get spam messages here as well. So we're going to sit here on the, on the voice calls and right over here on the right is where you would enter your numbers. So I'm going to enter a number and I'm going to call it. And it's going to go straight to voicemail because it's technically calling itself. And if I wanted to leave a voicemail, I could. Now, when I get done with that, it's going to show up right over here. If I click on my own voice phone number, it's going to tell me that the Google Voice account made an outgoing call, what time, what date, and what duration. So if you're having to do phone logs for whatever reason, this is a good place for you to come and get that information. Okay, I can, from here, return the call send a text message, add somebody to my contacts list. I can archive this. I can mark this spam as a spam number. I can block this number so that they can't reach me through Google Voice again, or I can con delete this conversation completely and entirely. Okay, so while we're on the screen, you can show or hide your keypad down here at the bottom. You also have some settings over here, so we're going to walk through these settings. Audio settings to test your microphones and speakers. Help if you need any specific questions or help inside Google Voice. And settings. This is where we're going to spend the majority of our, our time. We can change this number if we feel we need to. We can transfer it to a different phone. Or we can delete this altogether. So if, if there comes a time in which you no longer need a Google Voice number, you can come in and delete that number. I have two devices that this is set up for. I have it set for me to use on the website and to send to my phone number to my own personal cell phone. Okay, I can add new numbers. And so if I had a, a home phone and an office phone and a you know a car phone number. I could transfer this and use this at, with any of those and have one number for all of those devices. Where do I want my messages forwarded to? I decided today I did not want to forward them to my Android device, so I turned this off. I have them all forwarding to my Gmail account, so that one is turned on. Outgoing calls? So 
So I, I actually do use this. I place my calls through Google Voice. Um, I don't like to use my phone when I'm on the web version. So when I'm on, when I'm actively using the web, I turn this off. Um, hide your caller ID on outgoing calls. Then we may need to turn that off. That way the caller ID number shows up and parents will actually start to pick up the phone. Okay. Incoming calls. Select the device you want to use to answer. I am, since I am on the web right now, this is what I'm using. But when I get off the web, when I decide my day on the computer is done, I turn this off and I turn my Android device on. Do I want numbers? Do I want to forward my calls to a specific number? I can do that if I wish. I don't do that at this time. Do I want to get an alert in my email for a missed call? That is up to me. Do I want to hear the screener's name when I pick up? That is also up to me. Options, call, record call, switch to a linked phone. I have some options here that I can turn on or off. So if I felt like the call, my calls needed to be recorded, I could turn that on. Show my Google Voice number as caller ID when forwarding calls. This is so that when I forward a call to my number, my own cell phone number, is this the number I want to show up? No, I actually like to see the caller's number show up. Do not disturb. This is where I go when I am off duty for the day and I'm sending my voices, my calls to voicemail. That's where I go. You can record an active greeting. You can have multiple greetings and you can come in and choose which greeting you want to have. Can, do you want to get your voicemail by email? And if you want to let Google analyze your voicemail transcripts, they will uh, convert them to text for you, and this allows that to be done better. Okay, I can turn web notifications off through my browser settings. This is for different types of phone calls that, that we may need to make, but really for the calls that most of us make on a daily basis, this is not something that's going to require Required. If we're doing international phone calls out, out of the country, we may need to have some money there, but most of us don't do that. I have my spam filter on. I do not necessarily need high contrast. So those are the settings that you have with Google Voice. I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to reach out to me if you need me.